till I came on the James Strong show, and uh, I just always thought he was kind of a meathead, just a dumb jock. You know, I remember him from oh, he is from Fear Factor, and I just never liked him really that much. And and then I'm like, well, I, I mean, James is a pretty smart cat, and he he says he's got the best show and like number one rated show anywhere, and I should give it a shot. And and now I listen to him every day. He's pretty good. He's pretty, then, he really is pretty good. He's and, the he's the he's the king of the podcaster. If, if Howard Stern is king of all media, Joe Rogan is king of all podcasters. Yeah, yeah, and he uh, I listened to his. First show ever, although I don't think I made it all the way through it, but it was more or less, uh, I think it was him, and I, I can't think of his friends. And it, I don't think it was Brian Callen, but it was one of those guys he talks yeah. to all the time, and it was uh, uh, it was basically them just trying to work on the sound and get things plugged in right, and that was yeah. like the first, yep. I don't know how many minutes, but uh, so yeah, you got to start somewhere. You know? Yeah, that's exactly right. And a long time ago, and I, I'm always, I always tell people this, it's like, you would have had to, I assume, go to school for broadcasting or journalism. or I mean, you couldn't just start broadcasting to people all over the world. You had to go to, like, a radio station. And, and uh, like, I've heard Mark Close on St. Louis Radio talk about how he started off mowing the grass at the place. Yeah. And then somehow worked his way inside, and, like, someone had to, like, probably die or retire before he could get the job he really wanted. And then it was, it was like, a big deal. It didn't happen quickly. And now, if you got an Internet hookup, you can just talk to you know, it's it's kind of amazing. I'm not sure if we should have that kind of freedom, but you know, but Shh, here it is. Uh, you know, don't give them any ideas. Well, well, some people don't need to have a voice. Some people are kind of <laughs> stupid, and I'm, I might be one of them. But here I am doing it. So, if if you and I can have a voice, anyone yeah. can have a voice. If if I can do a dopey podcast, anybody can do a dopey yeah. podcast. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot. lot it's a lot. It is a lot of fun. That's that's the best thing. And and when somebody compliments you, wow, I listened to your podcast, man, it was really great. I really enjoyed this, 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 and this. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of makes you smile, and and I feel like especially when the guys are on with me, it's it has become very humorous. And the thing is, if, it's not like a comedy show. I wasn't trying to do that, but just certain people get in a room together. Me and Paul have been friends for like twenty years now, and when we're in the room together, hilarity just ensues. And uh, sure, you're not trying to be funny, but you just start telling funny stories, and that's the way it goes. And yeah. so, and if someone gets a kick out of it or it brightens their day, then well, that's great. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, very cool. The Rusty Dell Podcast. How do we, how do we listen to it? So I'm on Spreaker, uh, Spreaker.com, and it's just it's listed as the Rust, Rusty Dell Show. Um, there is a, a Facebook page, so what I try to do is, as soon as I publish the new episode, I put the link on the Facebook page, and it just says Rusty Dell. I think the, the profile pic is my, my setup. So there's, like, the desk and computer and mixer board. Um, so it's Rusty Dell on Facebook. I don't know a lot about Twitter. Like, I don't really know how to use it, uh, but I know, I know it enough to post it on there. So there's there a Twitter, go. and it's at Rusty Dell. And oh, and and then there's an email which is Rusty Dell Show at Outlook, which I think used to be Hotmail, but now yeah. it's different. So it's uh. Rusty Dell Show at Outlook dot com, and I did that because I think people should have a, a like a way to contact me and say either something they liked or they didn't like, or uh, even bad feedback would be good at this point. And yeah. I I don't think there's one single email in there yet, but hopefully eventually someone will you'll, do that. You'll get an, you'll get an email. A- ask yeah. them to. That's what I do, and I, yeah. I get I get more emails than than you would think. Just a lot of times, it's just, hey, I like the show. Yeah, thank you. Well, and I think w- one of the things I need to start thinking more about is um, is just asking questions that they could answer via email. Sure. Like bring something up and then go. Anyone else ever had the, an experience with that? Mm-hmm. Let us know. And so um, I, and I but I have to remember to say those things. I know one time we recorded. And I think I, I forgot to even say at the beginning, oh, hey, guess what? Now there's an email. Now there's a Twitter. Uh-huh. So here I took the time to, to create these new things and didn't tell anybody. So Write then, it down on a piece of paper and read it at the beginning of the show. That's what I do. That's, that's what up I did. Up until, yeah. this, is, this is episode 175. And I think up until about episode 130, I had to read off of a piece of paper. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Do we yeah. send I had to read it because I couldn't remember it. I mean, yeah. now it's second nature, but. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of do like. I, I guess I kind of stole that from you, but um, like when you'll say East Central Missouri, yeah, you know, and then I kind of do that too. But I'll say I'm coming to you from East Central Missouri in Franklin County, and just to kind of you got to start off somehow, you know. And you didn't you didn't steal that from me. You, you there's more than I'm not the only person yeah. who lives in East Central East Missouri. Central Missouri yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was listening to, to Joe Rogan recently, and he said something about uh, someone was asking him about notes and does he take a lot of notes? And he and I think he basically said at first yes, but not now because. I guess maybe it, it sounds too robotic. It doesn't sound like a conversation, but and I get and I get kind of nervous, especially early on. And I and I have maybe not a script, but an outline, so that if I go down a rabbit hole, I can come back to my next bullet point and go. Well, anyway, like I was saying, yeah. And well, I kind of well, have to do that. Well, that's what I have here. It's yeah. uh, it's actually it's just it, it's a one piece of paper, not even a full one. It's double spaced. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nine bullet points. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all you need. Now, if I'm doing a monologue, there's lots of notes for the monologue. But again, it's bullet points. Yeah. And uh, but a monologue, an essay is a whole lot different than a conversation. Yeah. So, well, very cool. Hour and twenty minutes, man. We went a long time. I kept you away from your family probably too long. Well, that's okay. It has been two years. We had a lot to talk about. Yes, we did. The Rusty Dell Show. Russ, Rusty, thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's it. We're done. Hope you enjoyed the show. James Strong Show at Hotmail.com. That's the email address. Send me your email address. I will add you to the James Strong Show fans list, and then I will send you an email upon publication of the show. You can download it and then listen to it at your leisure. You can find me on all kinds of different formats as well, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, uh, iHeartRadio, and, of course, Springer.com. Have a good weekend, folks. Have a good evening. Until next time, this is James Strong saying adios.